Hi, Happy New Year. Uh, I have an idea for a series of videos that share a bit more about how these sculptures work. And I'm going to start with this little caterpillar. I think this is the eighth or ninth that I've made. And I'm going to spin it around so we can see, you know, how the mechanics work. Um, but, you know, one of my favorite things about caterpillars is this, you know, little beautiful wave that just passes through it. It's going out the front, it kind of overtakes from the back, it works its way through. And there's something about it that um, makes me think that the wave, you know, exists on its own. And it, um, it sort of exists outside of the caterpillar. And another thing that I love is that at any given time, more than half of the caterpillar is not moving, right? So the part that's in contact with the world stays still. And the caterpillar actually needs the stillness as much as it needs motion in order to advance. Now, this particular caterpillar is going around the world. The world has 60 notches and it is advancing two notches per cycle. And so it takes 30 cycles to go all the way around. Um, it is voice commanded. So if I say stop, it stops. No, just kidding. I have a remote control. Um, but if I go back over here and lift this lever up, caterpillar can wag its tail. Um, let's see. Why don't I spin it around so we can take a better look at it? Like most of these sculptures, the mechanics behind it is like 90% of the work. Uh, it's where all the math is, where all the machining is. And um, so, you know, it's nice to be able to share that part as well. Um, the mechanism and the camshaft actually are both counterweighted and um, this, the, the motor is strong enough to pull everything around but the counterweight is needed because otherwise there would be so much backlash that it wouldn't be, you know, the positional accuracy would sort of erode. There is an electric motor right here and the power goes up and it goes through a slip ring, you know, so the cord doesn't wrap around itself. Um, there's a number 25 chain, it's kind of like a bicycle chain, uh, but tiny, and it's turning this big sprocket, which is turning a bevel gear, making the entire mechanism rotate, and then it's turning this little sprocket, which is in turn rotating the camshaft. Um, there's a fixed one inch rod between the stand and the world, and so the stand in the world stays still while everything else rotates around. Each of the cams is a slightly different shape. Um, they're, they're pushing on a pulley, and which in turn pushes on a lever, which pushes on a little arm that moves the caterpillar. And the levers themselves are spring-loaded, uh, so you know, I'm not relying on gravity to return the levers and the caterpillar will work just as well right side up or upside down. Uh, I think that's a pretty good overview and um, thank you for watching. Let me know if, uh, you know, if you enjoyed this and um, I'll make another one. Thanks. Bye.